Antwerp Mansions was originally built in 1842 as a private home. It was constructed inside the world's first ever gated community, which was exclusively for super rich industrialists. This marked the beginning of its story as a prestigious residence. Welcome to UK Paranormal Search and tonight we have returned to the enigmatic city of Manchester with an investigation like no other. We've returned to the infamous Antwerp mansions. This time we're doing things a bit differently. We've brought a smaller, more intimate crew of us. It's a daring experiment to see if this unexplained phenomena we've encountered here before will reveal themselves in a different light. Antwerp mansions has always been a place of intrigue for us, a place where we've brought a large team. And every time we've had an absolutely fantastic night. But will this change in dynamics or not new secrets within its eerie walls? I can't wait to see what unfolds with our small team. It's going to be a night to remember, that's for sure. Join us as we embark on a night of discovery, fear and the unexplained. Are you ready for what awaits us within the chilling confines of Antwerp Mansion? Belgian consulate and family residence over the years, it was also the residence of a single family for an impressive 82 years. During this period, it likely bore witness to many historical events and social changes. In 1924, the mansion underwent a significant transformation, becoming a conservative club which attracted influential political figures. Even Winston Churchill was known to have visited the premises on at least one occasion emphasising its historical significance in the political landscape of Manchester. Tonight we embark on another journey into the heart of this unsettling cellar. The question that looms over all of us is whether those enigmatic shadows will reappear and whether we will once again encounter that eerie sensation around our throats that our sceptic John experienced on two separate occasions. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right mate. Just... You sure? Absolutely. Don't push I'm, it mate. No, I'm fine. I know it's you and all that but don't push it mate. Yeah. Can I just walk out and see if it goes away? Yeah. These dark, enigmatic figures have manifested in a way that defies explanation, giving pause to all those who ventured into this cryptic domain. But what perhaps is even more unsettling is the account of John, a seasoned investigator who, much like myself, approaches the unexplained with steadfast scepticism. The history of Antwerp mansions is a tapestry of different eras and purposes, from a private residence to a political hub, an independent nightclub, and finally a versatile cultural space. This remarkable building continues to evolve and adapt to the changing demands of its time, making it an enduring part of Manchester's heritage. <laughs> right, we're caught with a great idea. Gary, turn around. Turn around. Gary's Gary's turned into a woman for the night, so <laughs> everything likes women down here, so you've got to leave it on and see if uh, anything happens to him now. See you actually, mate. Does he? Yeah. I've got grey hair anyway. So what happened was, Jackie's been watching the live cam. Uh, we kept hearing noises because I was watching the video on YouTube and we thought it was the dog. I went on the staircase to actually see what see where the noises were coming from in case it was the dog. And then we heard like real movement in this ballroom. It definitely wasn't the dog, it came from in here. Jackie heard it also on the camera. She said she heard the movement. Gary came out, he's got goosebumps. Really weird. Really strange noise. You moved something in this room, can you do it again? Let's hear you moving, come on. Come on, don't go quiet now. Come and do something, make that noise again. Thank you for what you've done. Can you do it again? See, this is what I find frustrating. 
That wasn't the dog, Gary. I swear to God, that wasn't. The dog's asleep. And the woman's voice sounded so clear. We can tell when it's a dog, can't we? Because it's like creepy. But I didn't know if the dog was dreaming. I didn't know if Bear was dreaming. But that was not from downstairs. You're actually not here to harm you. You're the children that play. Carry on. Can you whistle? Come on, if you want us out of this building. If you want us out of this building, then do something now. Come and affect one of us. Where are you? Hello? I don't know, it's just like... Like Jackie said, it was just like something metallic-y. But it was proper movement. Maybe on the camera. It was so a strange noise, but it definitely wasn't from downstairs. Can you knock? Not back. Just like it. It was like a scraping, like metallic noise. Like a chair. It didn't sound like a chair, no, it just sounded like proper movement. But now it makes me wonder, those noises we heard before, when we were down in the cellar, and I thought it was the dog dreaming, and Jackie thought it was Bear, I don't think it was. Because we had heard him. Sure, I'll tell you what, shall we go back upstairs? I'll tell you what, Jackie, we'll go back upstairs and um, just be quiet upstairs, yeah? See if she heard it. That was weird. We just at the back of the ballroom, staying really quiet. I would just heard like a scream or a yelp. That wasn't from outside. That was over on the landing area or where it was downstairs. I don't know, but that was really clear. <laughs> it's weird tonight in here. Lots of good noises. Sound like it was outside. I'm pretty certain. Just ask her to she hear that. I'm going to take this year, hear it. More has happened in this place tonight when we've just like just been quiet and just sat here saying nothing. That's probably why this video is going to be a bit shorter. Because that's what we've done. We've just sat here like and said nothing. We've had more when we haven't called out. That was weird. Did she say anything? She's oh. Did you make a loud noise, whispering voice? 
sees men and women. Just now. I don't know. I didn't say it today. I'm gonna go downstairs and see. She only really heard men's voices. So clear. God, it's dark up here. Steps are it's just so dark. Come on, is anyone in this toilet area? Make a sound. Make a noise. Close one of these doors. Knock on one of these doors. I see your movements again like we did before. Dark now, Gary. Come on, make one sound for us before we leave. Let's hear your voice. Hello? Did you die in this house? Not once for yes, twice for no. up on camera. Can you whistle? You tap. It's weird because this place, because I've done it a few times, this place upstairs feels more eerie tonight than the Yeah, we never felt anything before. No, it does because it just does too. Maybe that's why. Right, we're going now. As we're going, can you make a sound as we turn our backs on you? We thank you for what you tried to do to us for us tonight, we appreciate it. Got to go. So if you want to do something or throw something at us as we're leaving, that's fine. Go ahead. Just go right down the cellar. Do any steps here, Gary, because I can't see jack shit. Dip there, mate. God, I wish them stuff. 
Sometimes I get thrown out. What was that? What did you hear? What did you hear? Like a knocking boy, I don't know what it is. Unless you want to come back up. It's coming to the end of the night now, it's three o'clock in the morning, it's probably gone three o'clock I'd imagine. Uh, so we're just going to do a little ten minutes down here again, see if we hear anything or sense anything in here before we leave. It's been a good night though, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, it's been good because we've had the live cam on in tonight as well and um, Jackie's come on, told us loads of things that she's she's heard. And, some, some weird ones, wasn't it, Gary? Yeah, just you know, we thought we, lots of noises we can't explain. I heard because I was actually listening to the live channel upstairs and I heard what we thought was the dog, but the dog was above us. We, he, he hadn't moved, had he? No, he's just literally not moved. We went back up and checked, he hadn't moved. So, and then we, we had a couple of noises, didn't we, as well? Yeah. While we were up there, doors. And I've just heard two knocks over there. Over where? Over there. Unless it was that, are you still on that, no. that weird pavement? No, I'm moving them out and nothing. Just said to you, like, hawks or floods. So if there's any spirits with us, we're going soon. Can you do something before we leave? Can you, I don't know, make a noise upstairs again? Like you did last time? Make it go cold. Can you touch one of us? There's a cat ball in your room. Make it flash. That's what Jackie was hearing before. She said like she could hear a bassy sound. I can hear a radio, like a radio or something. That's on, but no, it's like over bassed. Yeah. And that's what she said. Yeah, she did. Did you can you hear it? Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Check to see if that's the dog snoring because you, you can definitely hear like some kind of bass. The dog was asleep above us, so I'm just gonna check to see if, it, if it's the dog snoring. It's a weird place because sound really travels in here. That's that's the problem I have with this place when you hear noises. You'll be hearing noise outside, is it traveling inside? It's one of those sort of buildings. It's been, again, a fascinating place. It's a lot of Antwerp mansions. This is definitely one of my favourite locations I've ever investigated. I love this place. And uh, we're coming back again next year. April of next year, we'll be back here again. So I always look forward to coming here. It's uh, great because I don't have to travel too far as well. That's Gary here now above us. He's just checking on the dog. But again, this place, it's, it's the history of this place, you know, private home, club, nightclub, you know, it's gone through a lot of, again, it's a place that's probably gone through a lot of emotions, there's been quite a few deaths also in this building as well, so, you know, it's got the history as well 
fascinating building, fascinating cellar. And tonight upstairs felt quite eerie. It's a place that's never really bothered me being upstairs, but tonight it has been. It just got a different atmosphere about it, I thought. And Gary said the same as well. Whether that's just because there's two of us here, I don't know. Just wait for Gary to come back. See what he says. I thought that was Gary, but he's just frightened me to death. That's Gary walking the balls. You know, the story has this shadow figure that's been seen apparently. He doesn't like women. Obviously, there's no women here with us tonight. Maybe that's why the cell has been a little bit quieter. I don't know. You know, if you're going down the paranormal, paranormal route, that could be the reason why. Gary's just coming back now, I just see his torch coming down the stairs. Was the dog snoring? Yeah, but it's dead quiet. He was, he is snoring. Saying like, the sound seems to amplify. It's crazy how it's in this yeah. building. You know, we were talking outside before, very quite quietly, and you could hear us on the on the video cam, couldn't you? On the live yeah. cam. I think it's the dog, isn't it? He's right above us. So I'm gonna ask you one last time. Can you do something for us now before we leave? Can you come and affect one of us? Now's your chance. Make a loud bang. Scary. That's the dog. Yeah. Yeah. So we have managed to debunk some stuff tonight. Um, there's a few things we haven't been able to quite debunk. Quite a lot. We'll just be saying like that, but I think, you know, all the places I've done going, I think this is one of the I can honestly say it's one of my favourite locations. Yeah, I'll be honest, I, yeah. I, I do. I love this place. I think a lot's happened tonight. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? That, uh, that was like a growl. I think it, was, it, it wasn't the dog. It possibly could be from outside. Trouble is at this time when you're at Antwerp Mansions, it is pretty noisy until quite late to be honest. So, but these, I think it's supposed to be the double blaze. Now. Triple blaze. I think the windows are triple blaze because um, we do a lot of music stuff in here. So it is quite soundproofed in here, which is quite an active room as well. Yeah. Up on the staircase, would you say? Jackie's just said pears looking. <laughs> looking at somebody in a chair. What are you looking at? Look at it. Are you waiting till I get? <whistles> Jackie said that we got it. Jackie said that we got an apple because she's a female voice with, with no apple on at all, Jackie. We thought we heard something we wanted, but we obviously didn't know what it was. <laughs> now, I hope that's been picked, picked up on camera because that. Really loud, I thought it was a dog. But that, to me, and I know we're all crap at thinking where sound came from, I thought that was a back of the camera. So I hope that was picked up on camera. That was loud. 
would like to know if anybody is watching, has anybody heard a real loud sound in the last five minutes? Um, also, anybody hear the door slamming to up, up this area? We were down in the cellar, we heard a couple of noises. Don't really know what they were, but then we heard like a door slamming. Now, I know it could maybe be the owner, I don't know. I'm just wondering if anyone on camera heard anything. I'll just put it in the comment section because I'd like to know. And as I say, if anything does happen while we're down in the cellar in, in night vision, just message me on Facebook. If you go on the Facebook page and just message me. I'll never have to message you. I'll just see if we get any response off the noises, Gary, before we go back down. Jack's heard breathing in the camera. Breathing? Two beeps and scary whispering and snorting again. Could be bear, possibly. Um, heard the thud, thought it wasn't us, Jackie. We were quite um, we, we were quite still down in the cellar. We heard a couple of noises. What do you think it sounded like, Gary? I mean, at first, I thought it sounded like a cat ball. But yeah, we thought, then it sounded like a door, didn't it? We thought the cat ball had rolled down the stairs and we thought somebody had trod on the cat ball. It was, it was like a smashing sound. Possibly it could have been outside. It's very difficult to know. Then we heard it again, and then we heard like a door slamming. It was like through the door a bit. That was a knock, Jackie, in the main room to the left of us. We're sat. I don't know if you know the building, I think you did, but that was to the left of us where the nightclub part. Nightclub part was. It was like a knock in there. It's a dog. Dogs asleep on the city. That was from the ballroom. That was movement. That's weird. That wasn't downstairs. That noise. I don't, did you hear that, Jackie? Didn't hear anything. That's, yeah, Jackie said like something was being thrown around. That was not coming from downstairs. That came from the ballroom. That didn't come from downstairs. That wasn't the dog at all. Because I was that's why I perfectly that's why I was on the staircase and thought if it's the dog dreaming, that was from sounded like it was in there. She's got goosebumps. Gary's got goosebumps now. Right, okay, what's happened is Jackie on the live stream has been watching. I've been watching the video in the live stream. We heard noises. I thought it was the dog. So what I did, I actually went on the landing area. 